Hey there, my name is Leilani. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight on my Magical Solution Instagram page. I'm gonna try to do this video for the Instagram page, for the Facebook page, for the YouTube page, and then I'm gonna do like a mini GIF just for my TikTok. So I'm gonna be doing this in a bunch of different places, but I'm excited to come here first to show you guys. So I just got out of my live with the amazing Dr. Gian Michael Salvato, who is um, an amazing, amazing person, and we discussed Italian uh, folk magic, and I'm so excited about that. It was a great interview. I hope you guys check it out. And I promised you that I would do a live tarot review of my wonderful, wonderful, amazing, beautiful goddess. Her name is Emily Muniz and she created the Simplicity Tarot deck. I am so proud of her. I love her to pieces. She's so sweet and like her YouTube channel is amazing. Her Facebook is amazing. Her groups are amazing. So if you don't already know who she is, first of all, where have you been? Second, get on her stuff. And third, get on her Etsy and order this tarot that I'm about to show you right now because it's going to blow your freaking mind. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. So, first and foremost, when I opened it, it was a, it was a, it was a gold package and, you know, gold bling, yes, because she knows me, right? Um, I was so excited to see it. The first thing that popped out was that she gave me a ginormous tarot card. Look at how big this thing is. It's amazing. I'm going to totally frame this and put this in my wall. But then look at the back. Look at this. Look at this. Ah! How cute is this, right? So because I ordered two um, different decks at different times, I got two. So I'm super excited. So I'm going to do like one of those um, back and forth frames with side by side to have on my wall because, you know, I'm extra like that. So I'm so excited about that. The second thing that was in my package that made me feel so very, very special <laughs> is that she gave me signed, signed tarot cards, okay, of my edition number. So the first one I got was 25 out of 500 with her signature. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. This is going to be worth so much money. Y'all should be jealous. Y'all should be jealous, okay? So I got those. And then stop. Look at this little tarot baggie. Look at this. This adorable tarot baggie with the rose on it, which is kind of her signature thing. She loves red roses. So this is absolutely perfect. Perfect, right? So the very first thing, let's, let's, let's break into these tarot boxes. So the cool thing that she did with her tarot was that she created two different kinds of decks. The first deck is just like a regular tarot deck. And the second one is a diversity deck. So it's a, it's a deck that kind of shows all of the tarot, but like with people of color, dude, with people of color, people that look like you and me, all right? And I'm so excited about that. So I had to buy both. I had to because I'm just one of those chicks, right? So here are both of the boxes just so you can see the difference. So this is the regular one, right? And this is the diversity deck. You see that? Look at that beautiful fro. Look at that. That's beautiful. And what you notice is the very first thing that you notice is that this, this box is legit. Like it is so sturdy and strong and it's colored all the way around, all the way, the way around. It's not just like just the outside part. It's the inside too, as well. All the edges. So detailed, so colorful. I absolutely adore it. Now the decks themselves come with an amazing little a little booklet that has all the definitions in there. Oh my goodness. It has both upright and reversal. Now what I love about Emily and the whole point of this deck to begin with, the whole point was it to be for it to be simple. For the for the beginner person to pick up this deck and be able to read it right away right and she did that flawlessly not only is this book giving of the information for each card but the upright and the reversals of these cards are just quick one two three little keywords that all you need to do is put those to memory and you're good you're good to go love it now let's get into the deck ah! okay so first and foremost Look at the gold edging. Do you see how this shines? I'm putting it up against the light right now because I just needed to show you how this shines. Look at this. They are beautiful. 
Look how simple these pictures are. Simple, simple kinds of art. They give keywords, just two keywords at the bottom of each card so that right off the bat, it's like it gives you just exactly what you need to know at that moment. You don't need to think about it. It's just, it's right there. We're going to kind of just go through them a little bit. I don't want to like spend the whole time, but you see the two keywords, the simple art, boom, in your face. Two keywords, the simple art, boom, right? It is just all for it. Let's go into some of the actual, let's like go into the coins, for example, right? Look at that. Look how simple this is. Now what I'm showing you is the regular deck. Now let's for a moment just look at the diversity deck. Same situation, gold edges. But now when you look at these characters, right, you have one that's kind of void of color, and that's the regular, and then you have one as of a person of color. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, that is just such a beautiful thing to see. Look at the lovers. Look at how just beautiful that is. That ceremony right there, that's so Afro-Caribbean right there. Just like the, the anointing of the head with the herbs. Like, that's just like what we do. You know what I mean? Like, this is just so beautiful. I absolutely love this. Look at this. This deck is amazing. Celebration, Ten of Cups. Love it. Now, what you guys didn't know is that she also included... Oh, crap, you guys. I should have taken this out before I, um, I opened the deck. Because I literally opened it as I was pressing play. She added two new cards that people... Um, that don't are not normally included in the tarot deck and I gotta see if I can find it oh no I should have pulled them out beforehand Emmy if you're watching help send your magic and make me find these two cards fast here it is here's one and here's the other so the two cards that were included that are not part of the regular 78 tarot cards is spiritual cleansing right? And spiritual guides. Now, this is an amazing card. Uh, Emily actually did a video on this not too long ago where she talked about the inspiration for this image. This is actually one of her spirit guides, and she used the image of one of her spirit guides as inspiration for this. How badass is that? So you're, you're actually holding in your hand one of, one of the people that she holds near and dear to her and that she utilizes in her practice. That means a lot for her to put that into, into the deck for just regular consumption like this, you know? Now, these two cards are not part of the deck, and so what makes them super special is that, you know, we... When we give readings, a lot of times, people don't consider this, but when we give readings, a lot of times people come to us and one of the things that they ask us is, you know, who is my spirit guide? Who should I be working with? And sometimes the cards don't want to talk about that. And we have to find in a roundabout way to kind of pull that information out of our cards when it's not really in there. And sometimes the cards do want to talk about that, but there's nothing really that indicates that that that's a spirit guide versus maybe um um a, a dead loved one or maybe um just someone who's living well, like there's no real indication to show and so she's giving you the indication that says yep the thing that you're talking about right now is a spirit guide boom and if you see this that's what you know right Another cool thing about the spiritual cleansing one is as a reader, again, you know, people come to you with all kinds of spiritual caca, like all kinds of spiritual caca. And, you know, it's really tough to say to them, like, you're a little spiritual dirty and you need like a shower. All right. Because that's a little rough along the edges. But if you have a card like this, that's literally screaming in your face, go get a spiritual cleansing. You need one. You've got some spiritual caca on you. That's so much easier for the reader to be able to explain to someone because you have something physical to show. Like, look, no, this really is what I'm trying to say to you. Um, so these two cards were so desperately needed uh, in this deck. So yes, yes, and yes again. Thank you. I am in love with this deck. Emily, I'm so proud of you. Simpl Simplicity Tarot, make sure you find it on her Etsy page. And I hope you guys enjoy it. You guys are going to absolutely love it. And stay tuned. Sometime in August or sometime in September, I'm definitely going to have her on one of my live shows. And we're going to talk about all of this and some. Ugh.
in the ghetto. Yep, that's where I live. <laughs> I hear that quite often. <laughs> but for really reals, I'm going to have her on my show soon, and we're going to talk about her tarot, and we're going to talk about tarot in general, we're going to talk about readings. So definitely stay tuned for that. Keep an eye out for that. I'm super excited. And once again, you guys, have a wonderful Saturday night. Thank you so much for joining me here on The Magical Solution, and much love. Mwah. Bye.